also denied those allegations. ABC News reached out to several other jurors who declined to comment. But the juror we spoke to tells us despite the fiery exchanges and intense pressure, the group of seven men and five women are now friendly and keeping in touch by phone and text. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. UK Prime Minister Theresa May announcing buildings across England were constructed with similar combustible materials as that high rise where 79 people were killed in London last week. Tests were conducted in hundreds of buildings across the UK and May says many of them have similar cladding to the Grenfell Tower. The aluminum composite material is being studied now to see if it contributed to the quick spread of that fire which tore through the high rise in less than an hour. And an update now uh, out of Paris. French prosecutors say the man who died after driving into a police car on the Champs-Elysees had a large weapons cache in his car and at his home. He also had pledged allegiance to the leader of ISIS, police say. Investigators say the 31-year-old Paris native wanted to join the terror group in Syria and in Iraq. Funeral services were held this morning for the UVA student Otto Warmbier. Warmbier died Monday after being detained for 17 months in North Korea for stealing a propaganda poster. He was in a coma when he returned home to the U.S. North Korea's government claims he contracted botulism, but U.S. doctors found no evidence of that illness. In Hollywood, a local water district is helping many beat the heat by turning toilet water into drinking water. The Orange County Waste District for nearly 10 years has been recycling wastewater and recently they set up a stand on Hollywood scorching sidewalks just to test out how people would react to this. It's toilet water. What do I look like a dog or something? <laughs> Not drinking no toilet water. I just got I got an extra bottle to take home because we're from Georgia and we don't do things like this in Georgia. <laughs> I guess they, she thinks they do that in California. Well, the water district has no plans to actually bottle that toilet water, but wanted to get people uh, to accept the idea of recycled wastewater so it could eventually pump it directly into the water system. I don't know that we needed to see the toilet flush there. <laughs> my wife and I are going to be in Orange County next month Don't for a week. Don't drink the water. I think I'll be thirsty. For, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's good, but just the idea of it is like very hard to overcome. But some yeah. way we're going to have to save water and sooner That's or later. That's true. Sooner or later we're going to have to do it. So. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Happy lunchtime, folks. <laughs> people. Uh, so here's what we have for you. A uh, air quality advisory in effect from the Council of Governments. It's code orange for children, the elderly, people with asthma or heart and lung disease. Uh, just avoid as much time outside if you can. Just take it very, very easy. On top of the air quality issues, uh, very little wind out there, very warm, very muggy. Uh, typical Washington summer day. All right, so that's the story for the afternoon. There could be an isolated shower or storm. At the moment, noontime temperatures coming in the mid-80s across the metro area. Warmest spots we see are 87 at Andrews and in Fredericksburg. And through the rest of the afternoon, it will stay hot and humid. And with the moisture levels increasing, and so it'll feel a few degrees warmer than the thermometer indicates. Right now, it feels like it's 93 at Reagan National, 92 in Leesburg, 90 degrees. Feels like temperature in Fredericksburg. So as we get through the afternoon, we'll keep our eyes on Doppler radar. There will be a chance of a few isolated showers or thunderstorms nothing real at the moment but we see this big wedge of green on the screen and that is rain uh, that's tropical moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico well in advance of the circulation around Cindy so that is a feature that's going to affect us uh, tomorrow morning that first edge and then by tomorrow night early into Saturday morning it's gonna be a cold front pulling and absorbing the moisture a lot of the tropical moisture out of the uh, leftover circulation from Cindy that'll add more potential for rain here. So for the next 48 hours, several chances of rain. First will be in tomorrow morning. Some of the rain can be heavy for the early rush hour. Isolated rumble of thunder will clear out a bit, but remain rather cloudy and muggy through the day. And then as we get through tomorrow night, as the cold front gets closer, showers and thunderstorms overnight into Saturday morning. The extra moisture pulled into the front might give us some uh, heavy downpours early in the morning Saturday. But once we get through 8.30, 9.30 o'clock, or 9.30 o'clock, <laughs> 9.30 or 10 o'clock, most of that will be to the east. Skies will clear, I'm telling you, Saturday afternoon and Sunday and Monday look terrific around here weather-wise. Rainfall potential is going to be a generally an inch or so in most of our area. Higher elevations will tend to get more, and some estimates out across portions of West Virginia you could see over four inches of rain. So quickly improving weather on Saturday, lower humidity, sunshine, 83 on Sunday. The next 10 days show a little cool down here early next week. That's delightful weather. And as we head through the end of June to the 1st of July in our extended 10 day outlook, temperatures, humidity levels climb right back up through Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next week. All right. I mean, All right. it looks good. It does. It's summertime. Very yeah. summery. Yep.
All right, thanks, Doug. Okay. Still ahead, we have a whole lot more on ABC 7 News at noon, but first, here's a preview of what's coming up tonight on, uh, at 5 o'clock. Good afternoon. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 5, troubleshooter Horace Holmes revisits the case of a woman who paid an absent landscaper thousands for a hole in the ground. I think if you could put some pressure on him, I'd really appreciate it. A year later, it's finally the fish pond she wanted. And 7 on your side is turning it into a how-to on handling disappearing contractors tonight at 5. After your car accident, the insurance company keeps calling you, showing up at your door, trying to get you to sign something. Stop, think, and don't sign anything. Call 1-800-LAWYERS first and make sure you get every dollar you deserve. After a car accident, stop. They'll take your call.